The investigation into the shooting death of Stephen Flores on December 23rd in West New York continues as detectives from the Hudson County Prosecutor's Office today conducted interviews. Darius News has spoken to a witness who attended the party at 6038 Park Avenue. The witness provided video of the frightening encounter right at the moment when the suspect fired the fatal bullet as Flores was about to fight the shooter, possibly for the second time that night. The dramatic video follows this prelude. According to a 16-year-old girl who attended the party, there were about 50 people in the basement. It was hot and crowded, so they decided to walk out for some fresh air, unclear if they were going to return. They walked in this direction, stood here for a while, noticed a car had circled the neighborhood many times, a black car. At one point, she didn't realize she, she was recording. A man steps out of the car, approaches Flores in this direction, pushes her 12-year-old sister out of the way, puts his hand, left hand, in his left pocket, and with his left hand, shoots Oh my god, calm down. Yo, what the fuck? Who shoot? Yo! They shoot someone. They shoot someone. Hell no. Yo, that's Yo, someone, someone got shot. The 12 year old says, My ears. Hell no. My ears. Because the gunshot went off very close to her. Flores then apparently staggers onto the second shooting victim who was not fatally injured. He was in stable condition the day of the shooting, according to the prosecutor. Amid the horrifying screams, the shooter then ran back towards the same, quote, dirty old black car, according to the witness, though she did not see him get in the same car. As everybody ran for cover, the witness said she didn't want to leave Flores alone in his condition. Quote, I put my sweater around my hand and checked his pulse. It was weak. At that point, with everybody else running away, the girl left with her sister to rendezvous with her father, who was there to pick her up. The witness also confirmed there was a Christmas theme party in the basement. The charge, $3 if you came dressed in Christmas colors, $5 without. Meanwhile, Flores' girlfriend spent Christmas Day mourning her boyfriend of five months. I got phone calls at 4.17 in the morning. Like phone calls, text messages saying, do you know that Steven got shot? Do you know that he died? And I thought it was a dream. So I woke up and it just hit me. He was gone. I was devastated. I didn't know what to do. I, my head wasn't thinking right. I just, I came over here as fast as I could. The first person I called was Brian. Like I didn't, I didn't know, I couldn't believe it. And I wanted to do a candle lighting and we did it. And I'm trying to stay strong for his mom. Flores experienced struggles as a teenager and brushes with the law. He'd started to learn metal work from his father and was on his way to turning his life around, according to family and friends. He also loved music. Man, I've been knowing that kid for, man, like, I met him when, what, eighth grade? I was, that's like, what, six years ago? And we, we went to school together, basically. We, we, we knew each other. We basically chilled before this. I have pictures with him three years ago. I have pictures with him four years ago. I have everything. It was just more, it makes me more sad and depressed because I, was, I feel like I was the last friend he had in this last month and a half. I feel like we, we was show every weekend. It was just it was the only weekend he didn't hit me up. That's what hits me the most. Because it's like, I feel like it could have went differently. Flores' parents, who declined to speak on camera, and friends complained at what they say is the slow pace of the investigation. I mean, I don't even have to say much. Everybody knows who did it. Everybody, they, they have videos, pictures. There was a million kids there that have a, the same name. I'm like, I'm, I wasn't there. So it's like, I can't, even if I say anything, it doesn't mean anything. The only people that could say it was there. And 
the investigation, I feel like they're just not trying that much. I just want justice. He should be behind bars. Whoever did this to him, he should be behind bars. Justice is needed. Darius News has reached out to the prosecutor's office for comment. Meanwhile, today was the wake for Flores. Reporting from Union City, Cesar Darius.